I didn't know this much footage for Ken in Street Fighter 2 was out. Ken was always one of my favorites, even though I mastered playing with Ryu and Akuma. Akuma! Mm -hmm. But let's see one of my top all time favorites here. <laughs> Smart choice. Her weird fucking ass. It's like Twitter's filled with people just like her. What is wrong with you? <laughs> At least you're not doing that dumbass. We gotta do this. Come on. Shit. Time to play. I don't want They've made that really colorful. <laughs> it's a splash of color and paint. <laughs> Out of my way. Okay. He's kicking up sparks. His whole body lights up. <laughs> She's like scarily sexy and crazy and dark all at the same time. You cannot trust a woman like that, fellas. Okay? She's, she's, she's an anime character. That's exactly what she is. When I first saw her, I was like, oh, this is an anime character. <laughs> What's funny is Ken is more my style, he's more like me. But I was I was really fascinated with Ryu's story. I really the whole cool, calm, collected, becoming the ultimate warrior, you know, type of guy. Why they got her laying down ass up like that, man? <laughs> That's anime shit, too. Like, um, uh, what was her name? In Street Fighter 3. 
and her losing screen, she had her ass up in the air. She's really stereotypical, which is kind of funny. I don't have a problem with stereotypical characters all the time. It depends. You know, she's not... I think the stere stereotype issues come into where they... play into... the negativities sometimes. Like, for example, like where her... Okay, she's black, and she's into graffiti and music. But that ain't an inner city stereotype. I don't know what it is. But, um, but it works. It works, right? So then you got somebody like Stone Cold Steve Austin, right? He is every negative stereotype that a white person does not want to be. <laughs> but he worked, right? Like when you look at him, he cusses, he drinks, he likes fighting. His boss wants to fire him all the time. He don't respect authority. <laughs> He thinks he's the toughest son of a bitch on the planet. <laughs> but it works! It's all in how it's, I guess, portrayed, you know, in, in entertainment. <laughs> Even Ryu, he's like a, he's a stereotype. A lot of the characters out there are stereotypes. You know, he's the focused, disciplined karate master. Like a lot of people expect Asians to be. Like, yeah, they're like really focused and smart and like serious and stuff, right? Like, well, they are regular people, man. Like, <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Stereotypes crack me up, man. Dan Geeks, the big strong Russian. It's like everybody thinks Russians are big and strong, you know? <laughs> I felt that kick. I felt that shit. I remember finding DJ a little uh, too on the nose. Like something about his face in the game looked a little too derogatory, um, stereotypish. And he's a dancing kickboxer. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Murray came out, I was thinking, I mean, why, why we always got to be fucking dancing? <laughs> Not all of us know how to dance. <laughs> Damn, he keeps falling into that. The DJ was a lot of people's favorite character in uh, 
Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. <laughs> I don't. I don't like Ryu's design in this game. I feel like uh, if I do get it, I'll be playing with a Kuma or Ken or something. Because unless I can switch his switch up, because I don't like his. I don't. I don't even like the story. He's training that other dude to be the best or whatever because he beat him in a fight. People are saying this is the end of Ryu's story in Street Fighter VI. I mean, if he's training, if he was training with Oro in three, this is after that. I mean, we should be, you know, I don't think this should be the end of his story. Seems like he would have gotten to another level. I hate that whole clipping thing clothes do when characters fall down or just standing there. Woo! <laughs> you like that? I think that was wrong. Get up! That's that. That's a uh, <laughs> and he's so lost. That's the twist uh, from that evil Ryu um, uh, finish, Ultra or whatever. He smashes your face to the ground after the uppercut. Kuma has it as what, like an EX in five or something like that. To me, it's a little too colorful with all those paint splashes. To me, I like the black paint splashes better, even though I was never for them. Um, I like those better. Man. Um, um, I'm trying to think. It reminds me of a Nintendo game I saw somebody reviewing, you know, a bunch of paint all over the place, y'all probably know what I'm talking about, you know, it seems like they got rid of the big fucking feet in this game, I could not stand how big their fucking feet were in 4 and 5, like, like why are you making their feet so fucking big, and it came from like the, like the art style that they used for like the animated movies for Street Fighter Alpha and 
for like the art they would use in promotional material for Street Fighter Alpha. I'm trying to think back to in the game if they were that big. I don't remember their feet being that fucking big even in the game. The games for Street Fighter Alpha. I hated that style, man. I ain't like none of the Street Fighter Alpha animated movies. Fucking sucked. That first Street Fighter 2 animated movie is the shit. You have not seen it, make sure you watch it. They look a little bit more, a little bit more realistic now. tied around his arm. <laughs> That's interesting. If you watch the animated movie, they do the Tatsumaki Sibukaku. They do that with both feet. <laughs> At least from what I remember. Super the other day, he cracked somebody's neck. I was like, Whoa, they, like, pop their throat. You don't have to pick a fucking super move. Hated that in three. Even in the other games, I hated that. Like when you have everything available to you. Like an alpha.
<laughs> nice, nice. Hopefully this game can bring me back into the fold of fighting games. For those of you that don't know, let me tell you. I got my first taste of fighting games with Street Fighter 2 and was hooked for years. Years. I was hooked on that, Tekken, and Mortal Kombat. But I was the best at Street Fighter. The best. You know, other games too, like X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel Super Heroes, you know, stuff like that. But Street Fighter was my thing, man. My thing, man. I'm telling you. I was good enough to compete and win tournaments back then. <laughs> no joke. No joke. Everything all the way up to Alpha 3, I would say. That was my best. After that, I lost interest and just didn't play as much anymore. But, yeah. Post comments down below. Let me know what you thought, though. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo!